Well, it's May 11th, 2023. We're getting ready to put seagrass into the Sebastian River. It's a project going on with Sea and Shoreline and another organization. And um, hopefully it's gonna be successful. It's gonna be the first time we've tried to plant seagrass into the St. Sebastian River. So um, I'm here to film it, document the first day that they're gonna be planting. If you look behind me, these cages, I believe there's like 54 of them, will be used to protect the seagrass. They're gonna sit there, put the seagrass and, uh, and on a flat near the railroad bridge, uh, near um, Roseland Park. So if you go to Roseland Community Center, there's a little dock, you can go out there. Not much to see if you go out in the dock, but you can see that area, that flat straight out from there is the area that they will be planting seagrass. How successful it will be? I don't know, it's kind of a challenging area. You got the North and South Fork come together there. It's kind of a mixture of fresh and salt water at times, depending upon the weather conditions. So will it work? I don't know, but you know, you only fail if you don't try. So if anything, we will learn from it. Hopefully it does take. Hey, this is Katie with Sea and Shoreline. Today they're planting seagrass in the St. Sebastian River and I'm going to have her a little explain a little bit about what they're doing. Good morning everyone. So behind me you see we have a bunch of Grow SEV or Bivory Exclusion devices. We call them cages. But what they do is protect our planting units for a period of a couple months to a year so that the grass can get established before it's grazed on by all of our lovely manatees, turtles, fish, crabs, everything loves to eat seagrass. And then, so we'll install these and plant our grass underneath. What type of grass are you gonna be planting in there? We are planting two species of grass. The first is eelgrass, it's Vallisneria americana. It is a salt tolerant freshwater species. The second is widgeon grass, Rupia maritima. It's a freshwater tolerant seagrass species. Hey, it's really cool what they're doing. Let's keep our fingers crossed that it does work, man. This is Pete Hink, till next time, we'll see ya.